Last night, during the game between the Chicago Blackhawks and the Vancouver Canucks, Patrick Kane is in a race for the puck. He thinks he's got a breakaway, but Joshua says no, makes a nice play and takes it away from him. Then he bodies him into the boards for good measure. Kane falls down to the ice, and as Joshua attempts to skate away, you're going to see Max Domi quickly drop his gloves and basically jump Joshua. This is Domi's favorite thing to do, and Joshua keeps his gloves on. Domi just kind of looks like an idiot at this point but i do love the look on joshua's face as he looks at the linesman he's like uh, are we gonna put this little guy in time out or what and they did both of these guys were given five minutes each for fighting even though only one of them was fighting and domi was also handed two minutes for instigating and a 10 minute misconduct but this incident was not the first time we've seen this sort of thing from Max Domi at all. Let's go through some of these examples. Here he is a while back trying to mix it up with Huberto who doesn't have his gloves off. Here he is again trying to rough up Rasmussen. Same situation, Rasmussen still with his gloves on and clearly doesn't want a part of this. You see our boy, Domi, he's been pulling off these shenanigans for quite some time now and it's just starting to get old. I don't even know how anyone can defend him at this point. Look at that. There must be about 20 cases of this already. And listen, I'm a big fan of physical, rough, in-your-face hockey, but I like seeing things done fair, you know what I mean? Both players gotta have their gloves off, or it's just greasy in my opinion. I mean, yeah, there might be the odd time some guy deserves to get jumped, but when it comes to Max Domi, he's been just like making a living out of doing this sort of thing throughout his career. It's starting to get annoying. Now the first time I noticed him doing this sort of thing was back when he played with Montreal when he jumped Aaron Ickblad. Then I seen him do it some more over the next couple of years and I don't know, it's just, it's godless. The guy picks his spots. I mean, look what happened last year when he got involved in a stick swinging incident with Ryan Reeves. His gloves didn't seem as slippery. But you know what? The sad thing is, I think he's going to continue playing this way. The league is obviously not going to do nothing about it. The poor guy might need medication or something to control his anger. And the funny part is, I can almost guarantee it, at some point throughout his career, he's going to do this to the wrong team, okay? He's going to jump someone. And then on his next shift, you're going to see a guy like Reeves or Wilson, Delorier, or even Jack I grab him and just start feeding him his lunch whether he has his gloves on or not. Just to teach the guy a lesson. But anyway, let me know what you think of this down in the comment section. I personally think it's a gutless move, but I do expect that some of you are going to defend him. Don't forget to uppercut the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.